Hello, my dear students. I wish you are ready to learn new things in science with full interest and concentration. Dear students, learning the key terms and definitions of a chapter make us very easy to understand each topic and subtopic of it very easily. So, I advise you to take your notebook and pen with you. Watch and understand each keyword and its definition and note it down in your notebook. I'm sure it will benefit you a lot. So, let us start with key terms and definitions used in. Chapter 3 Synthetic Fibers and Plastics The first keyword is Synthetic Fibers the fibers made from polymers by human beings are called synthetic or man-made fibers. Synthetic fibers are used in ropes, buckets, furniture, containers, aeroplanes, ships, spacecrafts, and healthcare. On the basis of chemicals used in the commercial production of synthetic fibers, they are named as rayon, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. Plastic causes environmental pollution so it should be used with the consideration of fiber theory, reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and refuse. The next keyword is polymer. The word polymer comes from two Greek words. Poly means many and mer means part or unit. So, a polymer is made of many small repeating chemical units called monomers. The polymers are both natural and artificial. The next keyword is acrylic. A kind of synthetic fiber that appear to resemble wool is called acrylic. The clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap, more durable and affordable which makes them more popular. The next keyword is artificial silk or rayon. A kind of synthetic fiber that is obtained from a natural source, wood pulp and has properties similar to that of natural silk is called artificial silk or rayon. The next keyword is Nylon A kind of synthetic fiber that is prepared from coal, water and air. It was the first fully synthetic fiber. Nylon is strong, elastic, lightweight, lustrous and easy to wash fiber. The next keyword is Plastic A kind of synthetic fiber that is obtained from polymer. Plastic is easily moldable that is can be shaped in any form. Plastic can be recycled, reused, colored, melted, rolled into sheets or made into wires. The next keyword is Polyester Polyester is derived from two words, poly plus ester. It is made up of the repeating units of a chemical called an ester. Fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp and is easy to wash. The next keyword is Polythene Polythene is derived from two words, poly plus ethene. It is an example of a plastic. It is synthetic flexible made by polymerizing ethylene. 
It is used for making commonly used polythene bags. The next keyword is terylene. Terylene is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn. The next keyword is thermoplastics. The plastic which gets deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics. Polythene and PVC are some of the examples of thermoplastics. The next keyword is thermosetting. The plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. Examples Bakelite and Nullamine. Okay, dear students. I think you have learned these key terms and their definitions very well still. Revise it again and again to make your learning confirm. See you in the next video. Bye.